What's going on guys? So obviously that was the audio from the 1996 NBA Championship of the Chicago Bulls 17 years ago today, alright? Father's Day, June 16th, 1996. And how coincidental that today is also Father's Day, you know? Not just that, um, how fitting for Michael Jordan's first championship after baseball came also on a Father's Day. You know, that's just amazing, you know, because obviously, as you guys know, his father was killed on, uh, scarcely on July 23rd, 1993, when Jordan was only, uh, 30 years old, you know, which he was still in his, in his, uh, prime, by the way. Um, you know, something that not too many people know is that the 96 finals was Jordan's record low. All right, 27 points per game was MJ's lowest average in all six of his NBA Finals appearances. You know, it just goes to show that how darn good Gary Payton was. You know, Gary the Glove Payton. That guy really did a number on MJ, you know. He was the 95-96 NBA Defensive Player of the Year. The only point guard in NBA Finals, I'm sorry, the, the only point guard in NBA history thus far to get that, um, the NBA Defensive Player of the Year award, you know, like, guy's amazing. 6'4 point guard, just, um, and again, my heart goes out to the Seattle Supersonics because that's a major diss for both Peyton and Kemp because Peyton and Kemp can, cannot have their jerseys retired you know at the what was that um arena called oh yeah key arena which to me was the top three loudest arenas back in the 90s all right it was the utah jazz home floor the uh delta center the bulls home floor along with the uh key arena you know those are the top three loudest arenas in nba history but um Going back on this game here, uh, you know, MJ just collapsed in the uh, locker room, you know, at the end of that game. Let me give you guys a glimpse here. If I can pull my camera out. Hold on a second, please. All right. Let's see. Hold on a second. Of the championship trophy in just a moment. An emotional moment for Michael Jordan. The tears are flowing. You know, just like looking back on that day, man, you know, I say to myself, you know, this guy had tremendous heart to come back to the game, especially after his dad was killed. You know, it takes tremendous uh, willpower for, you know, someone who's had his dad killed and to come back and play the game that he loves best, you know. Now, obviously, I think that the 96 championship could have most likely been the Bulls sixth consecutive championship had Jordan not walked away from the game at the peak of his prime in 96 I'm sorry 93 not 96 I'm just so caught up in this uh 
game right here. That's why I said that. But anyways, um, oh, by the way, here's my shirt I have from that championship year. Greatest team in history, 72 and 10. NBA Finals, 1996. And you guys can see the rest. All right, sorry about that. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, comments and, and everything in the box and I will get to you guys soon. All right, take care.